Nine months ago, you might remember, medical experts told us we were facing a supply shortage of PPE as the pandemic hit its first wave. This means gloves, face masks, gowns, all in high demand. Well, now, as we approach colder months and rising cases, some experts say we're already facing a similar problem again. Eric Hedekoff spoke to the president of the Medical Society of New York State, who conducted a survey among doctors and came away with some concerning conclusions. This study found that 40% of doctors had to wait up to four weeks to get their PPE delivered. 20% said they had to wait up to six. Bonnie Litchback is the president of Medical Society State of New York. She says the country and the world are all fighting the same battle. With the surge uh, now throughout the country and starting in New York, our doctors are once again having trouble finding PPE. Members of the Medical Society took part in a survey on their experience with getting PPE as cases rise. Litvak says it's a way to be prepared for curveballs instead of running into them. So that we're not in the same position that we were in in the spring. We need to have learned lessons here and we need to be on top of this. With a low supply of PPE comes more of an expense. In the survey, a third of physicians say the cost has gone up by more than 50 percent. This is all on top of the gowns and gloves already needed without the pandemic. More than a third of our respondents said that uh, the lack of affordable PPE was impacting their ability to care for patients. And that's a key take home point, as I said, because we cannot have that happen. But she says the fight to combat these shortages starts now. We're looking for our state and our federal government to help us to set up a network to get us the PPE so we can get it to the docs that need it. And Litvak says Senator Chuck Schumer is working with Senate Democrats to propose a bill that would increase production of PPE as well as the amount that goes to doctors in Rochester. Eric had a cost news eight. All right, Eric, had a thank you. That survey was taken a week ago. Members of the society include more than 20,000 physicians throughout the state. It also includes students. Maureen.